we have seen this particular payload uh, pretty much everywhere and we have been using it like you know it's very basic payload about javascript alert one and the problem is it's used by most of the scanners and and it's blocked by like you know filters application library which developer uses or and most of the times also blocked by the web application firewall aka WAF. So now we need to evolve from here and probably try like you know different variations. Maybe we need to figure out what are the advanced version of this payload. And and so my goal is today to teach you not like you know the exact payloads that you can use, but uh, teach you like how you can form different payloads so you can use your imagination and maybe perhaps like you know try one of those payload to exploit the cross site scripting. So hope you like this video. If you do, uh, please hit the like button and then uh, subscribe to my channel for more additional videos. Put down in the comment section other variations that you have tried earlier and probably have been successful or maybe not. Uh, but it's always a good learning for me as well as the others who are watching this. So, okay. One thing we need to know before we start is JavaScript is a pseudo protocol. What is pseudo protocol? Uh, so it's, it's a protocol, but in fact, it's not a protocol. So uh, you can use it, for example, HTTPS that we use. So always like, you know, we start with HTTPS and then we type our URI. Now here, which, which is a zero protocol, we can write within the string. So you can see this double quotes. So we are using it within the double quotes. So that gives us advantage on using different like, you know, variations. And how is that going to work? So for example, let's say we have any uh, object any object from the HTML that we can use uh, maybe uh, like you know uh, h1 h2 or any other a like for example here is also called an object right so we can use any of this and then uh, you can also use any of the data attributes and then define a string right and then close it like this now instead of using as is like this what you can also do is you can use the combination of uppercase and uh, lowercase so that way you can see uh, this will help you maybe to bypass some of the filters this is like you know one variation you can try of course it doesn't have to be exactly how I've written but you can try and like you know innovate from here the other thing you can also try is instead of typing the column here what you can do is you can do like this and do colon and semicolon uh, this is also another way you can try and see how, how it's gonna work uh, the other easiest way you can do is just split it uh, this might give you warning on the while the page is being executed by the browser but it's still going to work because uh, it's not uh, against the uh, what you call specification of the HTML so you can also split this in the two different screens. so whenever filter or WAF is looking at it will only file the string and then they will let it go and on the second line, it will only find this string. So that's another variation. Uh, another one you can use is uh, you can also like encode this in a different uh, schema like hexadecimal or something. So for example, instead of doing writing as is, you can what you can do is you can do this, and then zero zero three uh, a I think is what. Uh, and the hexa like conversion so you can also do like this and not just for this particular you can also do for all of these characters so individually you can do j a v a and the entire string would look completely different which will help you bypass uh, some of the filters so okay so these are uh, some of the ways uh, i put like you know more variations in the description so do check it out you don't need to write this down uh, you can copy it from here and use it and and like you know also share if you have any anything uh, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, this particular syntax that we have so now you can supply any kind of data uh, within the string but the media type is kind of media type that we, we mostly use right so for example application JSON I'm oh, sorry yeah uh, application JSON and then uh, we can we also have like text HTML uh, we have uh, what do you call it like blob and different media types the one that interested to us is uh, this one HTML because this is the one that will help us execute our payload so how we can do this is let's copy this again and here let's say data right and then uh, text HTML is what we like and then 
here we can do script alert script so this should be fine because we are not using we are completely avoiding using the javascript here so instead of that we are just using test html and, and our javascript of course you can also like you know encode this one you can also like uppercase lowercase this one for example you can also do like this um every other character is every character you can you can try all the combination now even to go further what we should be doing or what we should do is use the now uh, what do you call it like base 64. so here you can see uh it also accepts the base 64 and because it does it's very much easier and convenient for us to transform any payloads into base 64 and not all the time library would decode this and then like you know try to see what kind of payload you are sending so usually what i would do is uh, let me bring this screen here okay so here let's do script alert script and then encode as base 64 let's copy this go here put the semicolon uh do the base 64 right because that's what we are doing and instead of here we just replace it with this one so this is also uh and you don't need to use like you know the same payload which i've sh uh, shown here but you can you can you get the idea so that way uh, you can see like we transform this particular payload to something like this so likewise you can like you know keep doing trying different things and, and see which one works for your uh, pen testing or the application that you are trying to exploit and, and then based on that you can you can maneuver the payload maybe sometime it will also give you different errors and uh, uh, like in response you can figure it out which which variation would work better for you but this is what I wanted to teach you today I hope it's helpful uh, if you find something like you know new created variations uh, feel free to drop it down in the comment section uh, I'm happy to learn about it and then if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button it will only take a couple of seconds and then I'll see you next week thank you bye